So that's how, how I was able to afford a $250,000, 25 years of work. So, <laughs> so anyone, there are okay. two tracks. Actually, engineering, actually, non engineering. But the first step is to say, I'm parbo. That's why I'm a bit for you. Hey guys, I have a special episode record with Shammi Kuddu Sapu. He has been in Google for 4 years. Google has been in the payments product team. He has been in California and has been in Dhaka. He has been in the podcast episode. We are very lucky to have her. Shammi Apu in her life has had many of the famous tags associated with her. MIT, Harvard, Stanford, all of them have been here. But Shammi Apu is also a black belt holder. He has been in the same place for 16 years. Uh, Shammi Apu Chittagong er me, uni, uh, she grew up in Chittagong and then went to MIT, America actually gets it. So she's a trailblazer in many respects. On a bunch of the uni tech product e, um, jogo te kach korche, and we are very thrilled to welcome her to this podcast. Nije ki nije ki bole, nije ki to introduce kore. Thank you, Fahad. Our name is Shammi. I'm uh, currently Google er product manager. He shabey achi. Four bunch of hoyche Google achi. I work in payments. And the way I describe myself is I'm a big uh, fintech nerd, payments, money movement, shop ki chhanga chhe, kubi interesting lage. Chhe amra ekta credit card swipe kuri, bage tar piche chhe koto 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 steps, compliance, and so many technical things go on, but it's a two second experience. So I love payments, and I love building things. So no matter what company, what problem you put me in, mm. I will end up. I'll find a product thing to do. So I think. Got it. That's been my natural inclination, and that's kind of led me to product management and where I am today. Got it. Apu, apne ke company building and a lot of other product and engineering questions korte aaj ke ami ready. But tarar ke to jigesh koi ni po. Where did you grow up? Apna kotha hai boro hoye sen and what was your childhood like? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm from Chittagong. I grew up in Chittagong. Chittagong ko nje ke? Shahore. Samar Abba ma Chittagong University professor dujone. So each uh, collectively, each of them served for 35 years. So collectively, wow. 70 years of teaching to Chittagong. Uh, so I'm a Baba sociologist and I'm a physicist. So in Odiga work to flip, to my Amma science or math, and my Abba was like humanities. Right. So I'm a kid of academics, so Kubi studious, Basha Kubi academic culture, Chilo, and expectation was always more like a professional career, like doctor, engineer, Hobo. কিন্তু ছোটবেলা থেকে আব্বা মা কখনো প্রেশার দেয় নাই যে এটা হতে হবে বা এটা হতে হবে না সো আই ওয়াজ ভেরি ফ্রি টু পার্সু আ লট অফ কিউরিয়সিটিস অ্যান্ড দে ওয়ার ভেরি চিল কোনো গ্রেডস নিয়ে কোনো প্রেশার না বাট আই ওয়াজ এ গুড স্টুডেন্ট আই থিঙ্ক ন্যাচারালি আব্বা মা যেহেতু আমাকে প্রেশার দেয় নাই আই উড লার্ন ফর দ্য সেক অফ লার্নিং অ্যান্ড দ্যাট মেড মি এ কোট অ্যান্ড কোট ট্রেডিশনালি গুড স্টুডেন্ট সো চিটা গঙ্গে আমি ও লেভেল এ লেভেল করি আবু আই ওয়াজ রিডিং দ্যাট ইউ আর গ্রোয়িং আপ ইন দ্য নাইনটিজ Yes. In Chittagong. Yes. Um, and you were doing karate, art school, and a bunch of other things, uh, which to me seemed surprising, Jay, you know, yeah. um, you were doing it back in the day. How did you get involved with those things? And was it common to, you know, people that... Uh, no, really good question. Absolutely not common. Few, few dimensions. Actually, it's Chittagong. Chittagong, I mean, I had no exposure to Chittagong in the 90s. So, I don't know if I was in school or coaching. তো এক্সট্রা কারিকুলার ইনভলভমেন্ট স্কুলের পরে অন্য কিছু করা একদমই কমন ছিল না তার উপরে হচ্ছে আরেকটা হচ্ছে ফর লাইক উইমেন অ্যান্ড গার্লস লাইক ইভেন লেস সো মানে কে নিয়ে যাবে কে দিয়ে যাবে সন্ধ্যা হয়ে যাবে অল অফ দোজ লজিস্টিক্যাল চ্যালেঞ্জেস আমাদের সোসাইটিতে তো আই ওয়াজ দা অনলি গার্ল ডেফিনেটলি আমার স্কুলে যে কারাতে করতো সো আই সার্ড ইউ মেন সে ইয়াস আই সার্ড এ কারাতে ইউ এন আই ওয়াজ ফোর্টি ফিফটিন ফিফটিন সিক্সটিন ডেড দ্যাট ক্রেজি মানে হ্যাট প্যারাল কেরিয়ার পড়াশোনা আর কারাতে করতাম আমার স্বপ্ন ছিল যে বাংলাদেশের জন্য ন্যাশনাল টিমে খেলবো পিছনে থাকবে বাংলাদেশ ফ্ল্যাগ তারপর জাতীয় অ্যান্থম বাজবে আমি জিতবো আই ওয়াজ গুড বাট আই ওয়াজ দ্যাট গুড বাট বাট ইউ গট আ ব্ল্যাক বেল্ট আপনি ষোলো বছর বয়সে ব্ল্যাক বেল্ট পেয়েছি এটা টাই কোয়ান্ডো তে কারাতে 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 ইয়েস সো আই গট মাই ব্ল্যাক বেল্ট আই ওয়েন্ট টু ডিভিশনাল কম্পিটিশনস আই মেডল দ্যাট ন্যাশনালস বাট The national team is very tiny, so you literally have to be the best in your weight class in the country. So that is very competitive, even when I, back in the day. Mm. So that was definitely my passion. And you asked a good question, Jay, what made me realize that, hey, I'm going to do something like this. I was thinking about it because I was clearly doing things which my peers were not doing. And I think actor turning point was um, internet, mm. actor chilo, actually cable TV. 
So I was looking at what young people were doing globally, and I was like, oh, look at all these interesting things my peers do. So I'm not actually a Niger kid, Niger shell, take a bit of a kid, you should call So I think that it should have like a window, and I thought the other window to cut a borrow for you. You know, oh, yeah, on the Star Plus, I do English shows like them. The internet, the dial-up internet, the www. Asia website, hmm. etc. That little window was enough for me to think, oh, the world is so big, hmm. and I need to have like different experiences and skills. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just interrupt you at it too, because. I have a lot of um, you know young cousins or they say a lot of things all the time like I'm an astronaut hobo I'm a football player hobo a lot of things that uh, you know parents uh, are often brush off right you know bachcha ra bolte se but ekta choto me jodi chitawang e oi shomoy bole je ami karate shikhbo it's it would be pretty common to just brush it off yeah. uh, and not let her pursue it or encourage her or take her to these classes and you know do all of these things but what do you think I, i'm just asking you to recall but yeah. what do you think made your parents actually take that seriously that's a good question um again a uh, part of it was i tried hard to also show them that this is a possible thing Mm-hmm. मैंने रोल मडल एक कथा मैं एक्चुअली तक हमारे को रोल मडल छो ना जो महिला मार्शल आर्ट कर आई डेंट नो एनी वन सो आई पॉइंटेड टू टी शोज आज आई लुक एट दिस उमेन किंग करते उमेन कैन डू दिस थिंग अच्छा अच्छा तुम्हें शिखो कुल सो यू नो शोईंग दैम दैट हे दिस इज वट इट लुक्स लाइक दिस इज वट द पैथ टू लार्निंग मार्शल आर्ट कुड लुक द एंड स्टेट कुड लुक लाइक So I think that opened their mind and like got them excited because you know they are on the journey with you or on the way and other to as much time they mm. come. So I think just when uh, bringing people along to the world, I'm going to work. Kajak kheto shab shomai bolii, you know, paint the vision. Right. I think you also have to do that in your family. Yeah. Uh, this has brought back a fond memory. I'll just thirty second um, self obsession. Um, so. I started working at Patao or for or what was going to become Patao uh, mm-hmm. when I was 17 and still in high school. So I started working there. And at that time, um, and even before that, I was working at Chaldar and a bunch of other places. Oi shumai school uniform pore egula jaga je kaj kora was absurd. Yeah. But what I pointed to to make sense of it to my mother was um, Ridwan Bhai. So Ridwan Bhai founded this uh, company called Analyzen. He's okay, my cousin. I know. He's my cousin, so I was like, "Ridwan, bhai, to ekas te korte se, and she buye te pore, she engineering bagde, she ita korte se nijer company korte se. Ita hi hote future, and uh, you know, I have this curiosity towards tech uh, because I'm freelancing or kore etc. etc. I mean, I'm hal lagi shop. Just let me do this because uh, you know, I'm not wasting time. I'm being productive etc. etc. But I pointed to yeah. someone, yeah. and I felt like that was very. Um, instructive in a way that oh, he got say oh, got say I got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, same, yeah. same idea. So yeah. I, I, yeah, that's a good hack, I guess. <laughs> <You're> just <laughs> painting the vision to yeah. parents. Yeah, teen hacks. Teen hacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll cut out this clip and make it a teen hacks. <laughs> okay, so um, going back, so you. You are growing up in Chittagong. You are uh, clearly a good student. I think I read somewhere that um, Math Olympiad or sorry, uh, Mathe, you got the world highest during O levels. Yeah, back in the day we didn't have Olympiad. I thought we should have, but that's the most I could do. Like really crush my O levels. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, how did you? What was the road to MIT for you? And the bigger question that I wanted to ask was. Why go abroad? Because you're clearly yeah. a good student. Mm-hmm. Did you th- consider Buet or just you know local mm-hmm. universities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a really good question. So yes, we when you are in high school, high school, I mean, ten or more, O level, the are do much much. That's when you know all these things are right. really brewing. Desh, videsh, deshe, korte ho leita korte ho be, videsh korte dera korte ho be. And I think from a young age, what I wanted again because of that, you know, that window I talked about. Oh, this is what the world looks like. Hmm. I wanted a holistic experience of education. So obviously, they uh, share education. Shampur ke ekta dhar na chha, ma kaise na shab hai. Porche, boite porche, madhi kala porche. Toh jono prepare hotche. And you know, I also knew that if I want to be a doctor, like they share better actually. Because they share it takes really long. It's like a 15 year journey. Right. So those are all considerations in my head. And I, what I thought to myself is actually knowing who I am, and I seek out all these different types of experiences in addition to my academics. I am not someone uh, who would be happy with just academics, college hook, and for the rest of my life. 
and that's actually born true so i think i looked primarily to go abroad for this holistic experience jem porshona korbo explore korbo career exploration but even like actually athletic exploration that was a big part because i was like i want to play internationally i mean like martial arts chikte jay national internationally so college i got i knew like at least in america college just had great martial arts programs and how did you notice it is it is the bangladesh e bosh apni kibhabe jante ইন্টারনেট Bangladeshi I knew like academics of course if I work hard if you work hard you can get an amazing academic education mm. but the other aspects of a holistic education different ideas ota ha to ami pabo na ekhane pabo aro beshi onek koshto korte hobe really have to go out of my way mane campus er moddhe hoyto pabo na that was my primary motivation uh, to st- at least uh, look to applying abroad but there are a lot of other factors like it's very expensive that for where do you get in and things like that So it was never a given. I was like even if I get in that's like just the first step. I have to like pretty much get a full scholarship. So when I just acha me apply korbo I'm going to give it my best. That for I have no regrets. That for jodi na hoy that for ami abar desh I was actually parallelly working desh ebong uh, hmm. local admissions and international admissions. Hmm. Um, because you know you never know where it lands which is a lot of work. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. And desh bolte ki shudhu engineering college gulo naki medical and shop kichu. So আমি দেশে থাকলে আমি মেডিকেল পড়তাম which is so different from what <laughs> where I am now <laughs> so medical coaching করছিলাম which is very very hard uh, right. so I wasn't really engineering পড়ব তখন mm. I wasn't sure right. but medicine পড়তে একটা ইচ্ছা ছিল আমার ফ্যামিলি তো অনেক ডাক্তার so I was studying for medicine in Bangladesh আর বিদেশে তো is general admission দুইটা খুব ইন্টারেস্টিং জিনিস মনে হলো এক হচ্ছে আপনি আপু ওই সময় ইউ রেড স্টুডেন্ট ব্লগস অফ পিপল ইউ ডোন্ট পার্টিকুলারলি মানে ইউ ডোন্ট নো এট অল জাস্ট ভিন্ন একটা দেশে ভিন্ন একটা জায়গায় তারা তাদের এক্সপিরিয়েন্স শেয়ার করছে ওইটা থেকে আপনি রিলেট করেছেন বা শিখেছেন আই ফিল লাইক আ লট অফ আস গেটস টাক উইথ হোয়াট আর পিয়ার্স আর ডুইং এন্ড লিমিট আওয়ার ভিশন টু দ্যাট সো আমার মামা খালা চাচা তারা কি করছে আমার স্কুলের বন্ধু বান্ধবীরা কি করছে ওইটা দেখেই আমরা ওই মানে ওখানেই আমাদের ভিশন টাটকা রাখি যে ঠিক আছে ফাইন ওরাও সবাই বইটা পড়ছে আমিও বইটা পড়বো ওরাও এটা করছে আমিও এটা করবো বাট এই জিনিসটা যে পৃথিবীতে অনেক নলেজ বা এক্সপিরিয়েন্স শেয়ার করা আছে আমি ওখান থেকেও শিখতে পারি আই থিঙ্ক ইজ লস্ট আপন লট অফ ইউ উইচ ইউ এক্সাম্পলিফাইড এন্ড ডিড সো ওয়েল দি আদার থিং আপু ইজ দ্যাট I also did parallel coaching, like I did BUET and IBA coaching. Mm-hmm. BUET, uh, I mean, I, at one point I gave up, I was like, no, I'm going to go all in yeah. on IBA and I take yeah. over because I'd probably get more free time to pursue other things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's also interesting that you hedged your bets and you, yeah. I think, applied to 14 different yes. colleges, <laughs> which at that time was a lot of work. Uh-huh. Um, So that's very interesting. So at uh, MIT the you got accepted and yes. What was that like? Like what was the scholarship situation? Was it expensive actually like Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh just to recap the last right. point. I think so back in I thought to show YouTube video that she vlogs this. I guess the whole blogs were like the right. like the cutting edge thing, right? Blogs, not vlogs. Not blogs. You know, <laughs> like text. Right. No photos. Wait, reading? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Influencers right. on their blogs. <laughs> So okay. for MIT, uh, so I did apply to 14 universities. For the most part, 12 of them had a common application. So it's not that you're applying. So you fill mm-hmm. out this thing called common app, and then right. the same application goes to different university, uh, the universities that accept it. Mm-hmm. It's still uh, the same today. Some universities, kich uh, kichu supplemental essay thake, would have the short of it. But MIT uh, application like them all of it though. So all of the essay, all of the process. তো ওটা আমাকে করতে হয়েছে তারপর এম আইটি আরেকটা বিশেষ বৈশিষ্ট্য যেটা তখন এখন হয়তো আর অন্যান্য ইউনিভার্সিটিরা করছে বাট ওরা একটা ইন্টারভিউ নেয় সো অ্যাপ্লিকেশনের পরে ইন্টারভিউ নেয় এবং যদি কোনো অ্যালার্ম নাই দেশে থাকে তখন তারা ইন পারসেন নেবে তো আমার সময় কেউ ছিল না দেশে তো আমাকে ফোনে ল্যান্ডলাইন ফোনে 
আমি বসে বসে ইন্টারভিউ দিচ্ছি ওইটা আমার কাছে খুবই মজা লাগছে যে অ্যাকচুয়ালি গট টু টক টু আ রিয়েল পার্সন হুইচ ডিডেন্ট হ্যাভ হুইচ আদার স্কুলস রিয়েলি ডিডেন্ট হ্যাভ দিস অ্যাসপেক্ট সো আই গট অ্যাকসেপ্টেড আমার মাই ইয়ার ইট ওয়াজ মি সো টু পিপল গট অ্যাকসেপ্টেড মি অ্যান্ড অনাদার পার্সন অ্যান্ড এট লিস্ট এম আই টি ইজ it's called need blind admissions right so they admit you based only on your merit they right. don't look at your finances if you are good enough to get in they will give you whatever money you need to attend which includes the tuition and room and board so amra jara bangladesh theke apply kori sadharonoto middle class families amader income level to america to one like kichu na so we all fall below that line where our parents actually need to pay anything right. so for the most part uh, bangladeshis do get free rides and right. under like i got a full ride both the tuition room board everything so that's how how i was able to afford a 250000 dollar 250000 dollar wow okay uh, degree wow. yes <laughs> in today's uh, terms or oi shomoy oi shomoy so ekhon to it's, it's 500 যেটা environmental engineering at mm-hmm. MIT mm-hmm. and then from from there on out you eventually went into development work i think you moved back to bangladesh yes. in 2011 so ek to jodi bolten kibhabe engineering theke apni development work ashlen ba keno ashlen oi context ta ha ha absolutely so our career ta chemistry ta ekta concept ache brownian motion like the mind yes. will just keep like moving around until it hits something and then it changes direction so my career is a lot like brownian motion i think finally now i'm plateauing and it's looking like a curve <laughs> but, but the first 10 years is very much brownian motion <laughs> so at, at any given time i'm nije ke jigesh oh it like interesting it like i'm going to study next time mash ha chalo i'm right here so am i think you i changed majors three times i think acta আমরা যারা বাংলাদেশ থেকে যাই আমরা হাই স্কুলে জাস্ট সায়েন্স পড়ি অথবা কমার্স পড়ি সো আমি কখনো কমার্সে কোনো কিছু এক্সপ্লোর করি নাই সো আমরা যখন ইট ওয়াজ মাই ফার্স্ট টাইম স্টাডিং ইকোনমিক্স ইজ সো ইন্টারেস্টিং এভরিথিং ইজ ইন্টারেস্টিং সো আই গট ভেরি মানে আই ডোন্ট থিঙ্ক একাডেমিক্স আর এভার আ ব্যাড ডিস্ট্রাকশন বাট ইট টুক মি আল টু ফিগার আউট যে আমি কী পড়ব বিকজ ইউ হ্যাভ সো মেনি অপশনস দেয়ার বিকজ ইন আমেরিকা you go in as a generalist mm. you just get into the university and then you decide what you want to study which is like a very great uh, privilege mm. when as a 18 year old you at least get to explore and instead of mm. like i mean to choose course type por ba sara jibon to erkom academically brownian motion korte korte as like biology course i was like oh my god i'm a doctor hoyte parbo na like eigulo ami sara jibon korte parbo na out e korte economics i really liked mm. so at certain point i was like do i do economics or environmental engineering So environmental engineering I have a motivation chilo je you know I can obviously mm. take climate change right. I want to work in the space and like help the earth What do you think I went to environment I took some classes and I really liked the major and economics is a sim- similar motivation because economics is a very powerful tool for development when I'm actually at least uh, MIT the jara ke economics se exposure to mostly like oh, budget planning economics ki kore budget press kore that's what i thought it was but when on a development interventions amra even among the disho like economists design those things which have mm. far reaching impact so it's like oh these are things which can have great impact especially in bangladesh especially in developing countries so that's kind of what i ended up finally my brownian motion kind of coming mm. down and i graduated as an environmental engineer with a minor mm. in economics uh Do you want me to go to the next part of my career? So at this point, actually, career-wise, I'm going to cool back to Chinta Kori Nai. I did more entrepreneurial stuff mm. in my um, undergrad days. So every summer. Right. So, I, I, so two things to highlight. One is in 2011. The other thing that happened is you won something called the Davis Prize. Yeah. And that kind of set off an that entire. My, that was my path to like develop because you were asking me, right? So right. that was my four. I was like, oh. This is what development work looks like and like this is this is something I really like. So just to about. give some context um in MIT you won a prize called the Davis Prize. Yes. It granted you $10,000 $10, to pursue um 
a leadership program in Bangladesh um, and you wanted it to be in Chittagong mm-hmm. and um, what was this leadership program what could you just give us the story what yeah, what, yeah, what was yeah. this so this is the background of this is every summer I would look for something entrepreneurial to do now my shop friends are at the job fair internship but I was like okay Okay, but why? Why, why did you do that? Why didn't you go to an internship? I don't know. It's just me going off the beaten path. I just can't stay on the path. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shall I internship with this? I'm going to do something. Hashtag cool. Maverick. I, 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 I'm too cool for internships. <laughs> yeah. So as part of that, uh, this is my second year summer. I thought actually like a socio-political context. I thought it was a socio-political we had the caretaker government, right. we had political care- unrest. Political unrest chilo. Yeah. So yeah. Tahun, I sat down with another Bangladeshi person and say, hey, I'm right at Cambridge Boshe, key code, key code the And that's what we did. We were like, let's create a program for peace. That's literally like the conversation we had, and which right. became ultimately this leadership program, which brings together young people from different backgrounds, English medium, Bangla media, Madrasha media, and tries to engage them in like constructive dialogue and like how do you work together? With people who are very different right. from you, and with people, just such a short, 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 two days, life, or a school, or to my actually, but you see, Bangladeshi context, you see, what is That was the program we designed, and mm-hmm. then this is 2008, and uh, I got the $10,000 funding, and we, and I came back to Bangladesh to Chittagong to pilot it. So that was kind of my really foray or to be, like, what I first exposure to development, mm-hmm. because oh, part of that uh, program was, okay, so this classroom curriculum on leadership and mm. then there's a um, ha- hands-on experience like mm. you go to a community and that was the first time actually even me mm. I had actually gone to I'm a boy with him you said I boy up from Bashe Jai after both attack and they have a community kiki shomosha because I was like I had to find a place to take these 40 school kids to so I was trying to look for like a safe and like mm. wh- where do I take them for community that was the first mm. time I had actually I'm a boy with the Bashe Jai she was like oh mm. this is this is what the reality of Bangladesh is, I mean, Nijo Shara Kokono Amaroi apartment or Bairat Jai Nai. Right. The apartment again, I'm ready to do legacy. So that really got me thinking, of course, leadership is one intervention and like what other possible development interventions are there in the context of our country. That got me really, uh, I doubled down on my economics and minored in that, but also we, what ultimately became the leadership program became Bangladesh Youth Leadership Center or BYLC. Right. Um, so that was. Okay. That Amazing. was the that was the beginning of it. Amazing. I want to understand BYLC's scale. Apna mm-hmm. and all of those things. But tar aage to halka uh, pit stop. Talking to you right now, it's clear to me, Apu, that you're a great communicator. You're good at presenting. You're clear, uh, clearly speaking loudly, and you know talking very well. A lot of us struggle with this. You know, uh, whether it's speaking up, whether it's mm-hmm. presenting or sharing your ideas in a constructive way. What advice would you give to anyone or I guess, you know, uh, people in general about talking clearly and presenting your ideas with others? I am an extreme introvert. I have severe stage fright. When I was si- seven years old, I had a panic attack. So to hear you say that is like 25 years of work. So, so anyone, I just want to say it out, like anyone who struggles with public speaking and it's, it's, it's not easy. So don't like beat yourself up. What practical advice? I, I started practicing a lot just on my own in front of the mirror. I think what gave me confidence was actually working on my articulation, like my pronunciation. So I used to watch a lot of like English speaking shows to make sure at least when I am a Articulation is very clear. I can't control that. But at least articulation is control And articulation is very clear. It's 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 very he is just a natural, but it makes me so <laughs> mad. It makes me so mad. Like I'll have an event and I'm up at 5 a.m. prepping, and he he'll have an event of position me like a wood bay, ready hover shirt, and then he just like crushes it. But this is the reality. I'm like, ठीक है चाहे, अमाके अल्लाह ओनो स्किल दिस है, ये तो देना ही, अमाके ये तो काज करता होगे। अब अल्लाह ओके ओनो किस्सू देना ही, but ये तो दिस है। So you know we all have our strengths, but it's just work, practice on your own. 
Um, so it sounds like uh, you prepare ahead of time what you want to say. Yes. So bullet points, hook, or entirely yes. are word to word like mm-hmm. and then you practice by yourself. So ekta aina shamne darai hai jinish ta bolbo hello everyone assalamualaikum. So you try them to the tea, ek dum pura prepare kora. And then how do you? I don't know. Do the subtle things like maintain eye contact or you know uh, speak loudly. Like how do you? I, I, I don't know. A lot of people have a problem even speaking loudly. Like. That's a good question. I think for me, I know that when I am, which is why also what I also choose what to speak on. Je jinish time me niche ek passionate. I mean, dekhi am niche dekhi am body language positive and bhitor theke ashe. Acha. Aje shob topic ami ami niche ke force korchi or thoba ami ato ta engage na amar body language je bujha jai. Bujchi. So over time, I've just figured out like these are the things I am interested to speak in, and the body language will naturally flow. So oj jinish ta, but till. TLDR is yeah. practice on your own. Take every opportunity you get to speak in front of anything, your classroom, your work, presentation. Hours. Yeah, and then you also figure out your own style, what mm. you're good at, what kind of uh, formats work better for you. So for folks like us, that is not natural. Now you just have to keep practicing. I'm sorry. What format works best for you? Uh, Egypt. Uh, I need. I know that I need some. Visuals, like if it's a big event, like I like visuals versus just like oration. Right. Like that's not my biggest skill. Right. So I like visuals. I have literally, I'm very nervous for the first five minutes. Mm. So I practice that five minutes very well. Mm. Literally, I type it out and I practice it three times. If I get through the first five, then I feel just my physiological response, like right. my nervous system coming coming down a bit. It's like okay. You're you're not in danger. You're not in danger, Shami. Like it's like trying to save me from some, you know, prehistoric animal. Right. So past many jar for my nervous system is like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. So when my nervous system calms down, then mm. I I don't have to think as much. So if past many, I mean, it could be hard for practice for you. Got it. And then you kind of get into flow and yeah, yeah, and that makes sense. So coming back to BYLC, uh, yes. which is where you actually teach people how to be confident and speak and you know lead yes. others and all of those things. Yes. Um, Abu, if you could give us an idea, BOLC is how to borrow, which one, 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 if you could give us an idea. Absolutely, this is my favorite <laughs> pitch. So, BOLC is how to borrow, which one, which one, which one, which one, starting from the ages of 12, all the way to professional development and beyond. First of all, we started to borrow, which one, which one, which one, which one, is actually leadership training with a focus on citizenship. But the theory is, our other graduates are they should jee khana jai. You non-profit to jao, private sector jao, government to jao, entrepreneur ho. You still apply those leadership principles. Like our core thesis is leadership is taught, not you're not born with it. There's no, there's no mystery. There's no ethos. Oh, you're mm. born with some charismatic thing and shudu oi leader. Mm. No, leadership is an activity. You exercise leadership. Anyone can do it, and you learn it through practice. And that's very empowering. It em- mm. empowers anyone from any background to be a leader, which is what we need. So, Akhon Amader Kaj Jita. This is 14 years, and we have thousands of graduates. We have multiple programs depending on the age and format. Mm. So, school programs are mostly after school, and then there's professional development programs for young professionals, mm. and then also going into shabato professional or like entrepreneurs mm. actually. Right. There's like a venture arm which supports entrepreneurs. So it's basically supporting young people since the age of 12 to their entire journey, and even after you graduate, mm. we have alumni services. Right. So whether okay, you mm. graduate, you become an entrepreneur, okay, I'm not sure which actually you're going to do. career fairs, okay. So it's an entire holistic youth development. Um, and in numbers, uh, how many graduates so far? How many programs currently running? Uh, numbers that uh, I sh- you shouldn't quote me, but at least. I would say so quite patchoy hajar patchoy hajar ish mane thousands it's in the thousands yeah, for sure yeah definitely in the thousands uh, these are like graduates graduates mane jara program kore certificate ne ber hoyeche and how long is the program is it a uh, few weeks it or? depends so right. there's a flagship program with high school and young university students that's a uh, building seven, bridges building bridges to leadership training and i actually just forgot to mention the common thread to all of these programs is the diversity aspect Like we must have representation from like different education mediums, uh, faith, religious backgrounds, or geographical backgrounds. 
শুধু ঢাকা ঢাকা কথা শুধু ইংলিশ মিডিয়াম না এটা so it's with madrasa people yes. it's with bangla medium people it's with like all of these people so and yes. i know quite a few people that are a graduates but also involved with bylc jahid bhai for example yes. and what is very striking to me is a lot of um, because bangladesh has three four dhoroner education curriculum ache a lot of division is created yes. right uh, yeah. between let's say madrasa and let's say english medium like there is a stark difference yeah. uh between how people are taught and brought up yes. um it's amazing to see vyls again to bring all of mm-hmm. those people in the same room when uh, both figuratively and literally yeah. and you know kind of get them to work together so that's it, very it, that's very design that's that is yeah, yeah very very much part of the vision yes so program uh, to close the question on program so it really mm-hmm. depends what program right. we have for high schoolers it's several weeks uh, for the junior program which is for our youngest cohort uh it might be a uh, shorter the young professionals are doing in dinner program ache right. so it's like a menu of programs depends on what uh stage of your hmm. life you're at hmm. i want to kind of shift to google but i also want to talk about the work you did in bangladesh yes. um let's say from to- 2011 to before you joined google mm-hmm. i know you were involved with a startup but also uh, water he- water health yes or, part yeah. of my brown it, it picked up brown again after graduation <laughs> so what happened during that what what were you up to yes so i graduated in 2010 i'll keep it short i know hmm. like folks want to listen about google hmm. so 2010 i am a graduate kori tar por ami ashole ekjon practicing environmental engineer chilam and i realized i'm actually due to age kono internship kore nai so entrepreneurial development kaaj korechi i had no idea what a career involves in environmental engineering right so that was my first so i actually got a really nice job in the leading engineering firm uh, aecom which builds like airports mm. and like the largest bridges and stuff in the mm. world so when i oi feel the ota mane google arki right and i hated it Mm. Like the rush for us like I mean can we pagal ho jachi pagal ho jachi so on the side i was just like I'm, i need i'm a side hustle now and i'm pagal ho jabo so pagal ho the side hustle korta the mm. side hustle korte korte i came across uh, this new company that was starting in bangladesh uh, i used to network my butt off mm. just like meet interesting people to keep my sanity mm. So I I I just made up my mind. I was like I'm not going to be a practicing environmental engineer. This is not what I want with my career. Next step, I want to do something in development because at least I'm Jani Ota Kore. I was very fulfilled like mm. BYC Kore and then all the economics courses I took. Like mm. this I'm very motivated to pursue development and I'm mm. good at it too. Right. So I was like theek ache. I mean, I want something development plus business. So let's see what's there. Mm. So Oracle side hustle korte korte explore korte korte I came across a company that was starting in Bangladesh called Water Health Bangladesh and they were going to put up water treatment plants coincidence in Chittagong So I was like okay I can like this is all checks yeah. out the box it was kind of technical too because you're putting up manufacturing plants so I was literally a hard hat engineer right side gig hey pump wash out and I was just really funny like I was the only tiny woman hmm. and like kun grammar mod the gig so I had a great experience hmm. but so I was me general manager of this company for 25 people I had a CEO hmm. but he was Indian hmm. and local team manager I was like the most senior like Bangladeshi right. person so we put up three treatment plants Shita Kundu Hatajari and I forget the third one it's just so fulfilling to like create something real i know tech is fun mm. but to create something real like right. washam potom pani botol is like i made this what <laughs> it is shoe pe o pani tum rakha <laughs> that's like so satisfying right hardcore engineering yeah yeah it's like like hardcore like as real as it gets and i enjoyed it and i was like my decision not to be an environmental engineer in the us was the right one because right. i was learning a lot i was really in my stride I was good in management but I also figured out what I wasn't good at. I wasn't good at business model. Like mm. I can get things like operations it and I was amazing. Mm. Like how to drive a team. I could drive some people who were like double my age. Mm. So English, Bangla, Arabic, Java, all of me trying to check and like mm. drive people. Mm. But business idea I'm not good at. Like OPEX bere jacche, CAPEX bere jacche, but I'm not going to cover it. I mean Jenny I wasn't the CEO but mm. like as a leader I expect that of myself mm. that I should be an overall leader. So I did that for 2 years. Um 
and the business wasn't actually doing well so there was mm. a lot of downsizing mm. on a pivot to get a business mm. I ended up selling water treatment equipment to Navana Real Estate <laughs> to okay. make money. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, but you know you have to do what you have to do right. to make payroll for for your mm. colleagues. But after two years, I was like, "Okay, Chef, I'm going to do something different." Mm. And then I did a telemedicine app with some friends, which ultimately became uh, it's now known as Gion. So that was actually my first foray into tech tech. We right. built like a very rudimentary when a simple ekta android app that allows um, telemedicine in from like point a to point b basically mm. thaka doctor thakto ar gram e choto choto pharmacy te jokhon patient ra ashlo amar pete bata mata bata ki khabo o acha amader ekta doctor er sathe kotha hobe e je dekhen ekta app ache kotha so that's like very simple but oita korte jan hoye geche this 10 years ago like internet connectivity to mm. onek word chilo but that was my first building of a quote and quote tech product mm. and i just loved it so much the fact that you can water health it was all brick and mortar like ekta kichu launch korte ek bochhor lagbe kintu tech e dui shota pabra amra ekta jinish launch kortesi manush try kortese tarpor amra iterate i was like this is magic i can build so much মানে একটা প্ল্যান বিল করতে তো আমার রেড লাইফ চলে যাচ্ছে আর একটা এন্ড এরটা চেঞ্জ করতে তো আর একটা ঝামেলা বাকি ইয়া সফটওয়্যার ইটস ভ্যালুয়েবল লাইক ইউ পুট আ প্ল্যান ইজ লাইক देयर দিস ইজ বস আর বাট ও মাই গড দিস ইজ আ ইজ লাইক ম্যাজিক এন্ড সো আই জাস্ট লাভ লাইক বিল্ডিং থিংস টকিং টু ইউজারস এন্ড দ্য ফ্যাক্ট ওই এক ইউজার কাছে দেখছেন আপু আপনি বলছেন এটা হলো দেখছেন বানানছে ওয়াও আচ্ছা আসলে তো সো লাইক দ্যাট আই জাস্ট এনজয়ড দ্যাট দ্য ফ্যাক্ট দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান টেক আ ইউজার pain you can build something you can work with them and t- to keep improving that i was like eta ki ki bole ami jani na bonduder sathe ekta mojar kaj kortechi khub mojar lagtese but eta amar khub bhalo lage tokhon ami product ki jani na tokhon mainly amar shobai ro ego je it tar por product management ki eigula to kono proshnoi ashe na user research ki amra boltam eigula focus group study mane borrowing from like the development user interview igla kortam mm. but basically that was kind of i was pm without mm. knowing i was pming and i was like oh i love this uh mm. yeah that's kind of where i started with pm that we went to grad school why do you go to grad school because this was another big shift jekhane yes. apni uh, from working on the field you went back to school and not just one school you went to harvard as well as stanford studying policy as well as what's the other thing i forgot mba MBA right yes. so you got a business degree and uh, uh you know policy degree why why did you decide to do that so i started apply started thinking about business school when i was at water health cuz i told you like i was putting these water plants right. in bangladesh ekta kaj korte gele sob kaj korte hoy so ekta plant boshaite amar 5 6 ta license korte hoy tar por ekta landlord er sathe ekta lease sign korchi even just the legal construct like how robust is that and was actually jodi ekhane bond so either his rights were not there or my rights were not there so in every step mm. policy was such a big enabler or disabler mm. i re- like we couldn't get a lot of our funding in because i'm like a social enterprise chinam so this is 10 right. years ago but na apna ngo registration kotha i was i'm not the ngo na oh acha tale boi registration kotha acha oita ante si then we got some funding from usaid but now we're the ngo now we're not going to do it so it's all circular isn't it yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so i was like policy can be such a big part of like what makes or breaks a business hence i applied to the policy program at the kennedy school i was like hey, a complete leader hote hole amake policy bujhte hobe jante hobe so jena ami kennedy school apply korchi ar arekta chilo je as a, like there are some things i was just not good at one mm. is like the financial management knowing mm. how to read balance sheet knowing how to exercise leadership in the boardroom like strategic leadership but now i'm like a very good operator mm. and like very good on like the tactical stuff mm. but like strategic thinking so, so for these reasons i applied to the mba mm. and again just like mit mother like, each of these programs are very expensive তো বাংলাদেশে চাকরি করে আবার ওই সব প্রবলেম এফোর্ড করা সম্ভব না তো আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আবার अप्लाई করি দেখি কোথায় লাগে তারপর টাকা পয়সা দেয় নাকি আই মিন আই হ্যাড সাম সেভিংস বাট अगेन ইট উড নট এনিওয়্যার বি ক্লোজ টু লাইক এফোর্ডিং দোস প্রোগ্রামস সো এই প্রোগ্রাম গুলো তো আই হ্যাভ লুকড ইনটু দ্য দে আর টিপিক্যালি লাইক 200k আপওয়ার্ডস মানে 200000 আপওয়ার্ডস নাকি হ্যাঁ 
for a two-year for professional two year masters. Professional yeah. masters. And yeah. then because two programs, does that double or does that? So that's the thing. I got to squish it to three years. Right. So you you would say like what, 70, 80 K right. when, you, when you do that. So you pay more, hmm. but you pay less right. if you did it. When I marginally less. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, grad school or pura experience, uh, maybe I'll uh, get to that. But after that, you got into product management like them fully. Yes. Um, and Tokon, you that's where I think Google was your first PM job or no? It is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what was that journey like and why did you decide to do that? And we'll get, we're going to get to, you know, your day to day and all of those things. But how and why Google? So I got into product management at uh, really into it at Stanford. So I'm both of my Kennedy School and start Korea. I really like I, I still love what I learned there with more development economics. Then I started at Stanford um, and that really changed my mind and it gave me words to what, as I said, when I'm going to say, user research, product management, product ops. Every third person is a product manager and every fourth person is a VC. I was like, VC, VC, Google. <laughs> like literally, in 2016, I in 2016, I did not know what a VC was. No, but Stanford is product management specific courses. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it recruits first. It recruits a lot of product managers mm. from the Bay Area, from Google, mm. Facebook, Apple. So I was like, oh, well, hi, I'm XYZ. I'm like a product manager at like Facebook. I was like, what's a product manager? Mm. So I was like, going to Nagi. I said, what are you doing? And back in the Shabai VC. I was like, VC, oh, what investor? But you know, it's yeah. such a big term. So this is 2016. Mm. I mean, there's like <laughs> right. But I still knew like what I liked. So I think after a few, like the first quarter, I was like, ah, okay. This is called product management. Mm. Building things is called product management. And you need to have XYZ skills. Mm. Technical skills, um, coding, we can get into that. Coding versus mm. non-coding. But at least like you need to have technical skills. You need to have analytical quantitative skills and you need to have design slash user UX skills. Let's get into the coding thing versus non coding thing. What, what's, right your, now, what's your opinion? Right yeah. now, uh, you at least need to be in the middle. You don't need to be a coder, but you need to have a certain technical aptitude so that when you read code, at least when you read it, you get it uh, and you understand logical concepts very quickly and very well. That's my opinion, but why? Oh, this is very much into the weeds. <laughs> so, a lot of engineering decisions impact your product decisions. So, engineering is a decision that you have to make a product decision that you have to make a product decision that you have to do. And if you have to do it, you will have to do it. Oh, no, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And you're like screwed, right? Then to redo all of that. So, this requires you to be, have the patience to really understand the engineering design. Are you understanding the engineering design um, and what it means for your product? Like Amra, if we make these strategic mm. technical decisions, mm. then this is what it means for my product. And mm. you then convince engineering. Easy, but it will be a future. It will be a future. It will be a future. But it will be this is what the future looks like. It will be a future. Coding, but technical aptitude. Got it. Yeah, this is such a commonly asked question. Like, do I need to learn coding to get into products, stuff like that? But I, I agree with exactly what you said, Apu. Okay, so you were learning about these different skills at mm-hmm. Stanford and you were growing, your, you know, just ever growing interest into uh, product management and all of these things. And then what? Like what, what happens then? Like do you um, specifically apply to Google? Was there other choices or, you know, how, what was that like? Yeah, so I get this question asked a lot because mm-hmm. I come from what is a non-traditional background for mm-hmm. PM. Traditional background, when I, America is a traditional background for p- product management, which is a computer science undergraduate, four years. That hmm. for at the APM program, or hmm. management training, like associate program manager, which is what you call it. That for your MBA, you know, to become so like, I mean, APM is a product manager. Right. So that's the most traditional path, and that's the, I guess, path of least resistance. Eta the Ashley, when Google, Facebook recruiter, Shabai Kari, Dakbe, Dakbe, Dakbe. I'm your chick total opposite. I coach a Bangladesh the Gashi, that for a development course, that for an environmental engineering course. So I ticked none of the boxes. And if 
possible i click some of the negative boxes okay coming back to the whole non traditional pm path um, approach so you you were saying this is norm, normal like a path say but you are not in that ha yeah. so right. jeta uh, mba program ba je kono america professional programs are two years right and shobai summer ekta teen mashi internship kore right. which is basically your long term uh, which converts to a full time offer right so shobai she jonno first summer e onek koshto kore je internship ta pale motamoti full term ekta offer Unless you do something really bad, right. you're, you're guaranteed. <laughs> okay. So I was like, "Yeah, I mean, PM internship for what? Yeah, apply for this. Let's see what happens. Let's see." I got like zero calls. If anything, right. I got negative calls. I was like, "Tomorrow background, so it's a journal, na, to be kind of kind of show." I was like, "Damn it!" So I I I figured out a strategy of how to get there. Mm. And I realized that I'm gonna reject the program. Huh? I cannot okay. compete with like Apple product managers mm. coming from you know this Brownian motion and non-traditional mm. career path. So for the summer, I started looking for product adjacent roles. But I'm gonna say, "Acha, I'm gonna just take it up to have it." But product te kacha kachi kicho ekta jayta have it. Sure. So product te kacha kachi kicho roles achhe product strategy, product owner. So ogula the jokhon ami apply kora shuru kori. I started getting better responses. Mm. Also, bigger companies don't even look at you. Mm. So, over at the Google, Facebook, definitely, I want to kichhi hai nahi. But on startup, when I am applying for a shuru korse, toh hon aste aste, I am ke reach out for a shuru korse. And the third thing was when I started applying to startups which had a global focus. Acha. Jeho to ami, I am from Bangladesh. I understand the Asian market. Mm. I started to pitch that. Oh, you want to enter X Y Z country? You want to enter like Southeast Asia? Or Africa, like mm-hmm. I understand these markets. So, a thing to me, na, I landed a product strategy internship my uh, first year, mm-hmm. and then my second year for full time. Then I actually started to get actual PM interviews because. Got it. Tohon our resume the ekta tech three months kholeo, three months your internships are three months. There was at least something called product on my resume, right? And there was something like tech tech in the US, right? Then I started to get. you know more traction for my right so product adjacent to break through into product itself yes. and then yes mm. yes yes yeah. interesting and, and then uh, so currently apne um, payments team at sen platform mm-hmm. payments team at google yes. what does your day to day look like today apu so uh, as a pm at google my work is to define the product specs and once i do that mm-hmm. so i kind of everything kicks off with the pm mm-hmm. with regards to hey the why hmm. why should we do this hmm. there are many why's i mean i work in payments hmm. so there's business wise you know the revenue impact on there on our the compliance issues are there it and not only on the kind of business shut down but the so there are multiple why's um so it really begins with the pm saying why sometimes majhe majhe kyo pm ke why nahi ashe how to compliance will be or the tax team is will be it have not for la our ei samasya hobe So why it is that you have to do? I mean, I'm just thinking about it. Oh, competition is going to be so mm. I need like a deck or a white paper mm. saying all that. Oh, like stripe it or something like that. Or something. Right. Or maybe you know, on another team, take a share, marketing team, take a share. Right. It is also my job to take in all of that and create the why. So once we have the why, then um, it's also my job to determine like the what. Mm. This is what. It a call out it, call on a. This is what we should do. Once I create that product uh, requirements document, okay. which defines the what, then mm. when engineering, what are they here? Other design docs, banai, UX designers, or other UX mm. researchers, they here. What are they here? Other designs, or other research plan, banai. Right. And then we go into more execution. So day to day, then I'm like mm. big pro- on a big project. The program managers, that here. Oh, that's when I'm going to chat. That's right. Ah, chat a little launch. I am the product manager and also mm. the program manager. And I'm kind of like running the weekly things mm. and um, making sure, like taking it all the way to launch, mm. and then metrics and monitoring. Mm. Day to day, I have meetings with engineering, designer, mm. lots of lawyers. Um, those are my, I would say, thirty to forty percent of my day are just mm. in like meetings and syncing with them. Okay, uh, so as I understand it, Apu, and this is from someone. Let's say someone wants to get a job at Google, right? Mm. And um, We we are going to ask the direct question: How do they do that? Uh, yeah. But before that, what are some of the nuances that you know um, the headlines don't speak to? So, for example, Google it. So there are intense leveling, right? Yeah. So there's level one to almost yeah. I think what seven or eight or nine. Uh, like nine. 
Right, Nine is the CEO or? No, Nine is still it's like distinct. Nine er pora hotche VP. Tab okay. Nine er pora levels hai. Tomon VP, SVP, President, right. CEO. Yeah. <laughs> so ekar PM, actually, kon ab uh, PM role gula kon uh, level er pora? Yeah, that's a good question. So APM hotche interns are I think level two. Level two. So and then APM hotche level three. Got level it. three. So you do uh, two years of APM, hmm. and then uh, if you do well, you know APMs are. Quite successful. They, for the most part, then you convert to level four. Acha. That for successful mani ke ora usually hired hoy. Ha. Acha. They Got get uh, they're they're the hot shot psyche. Hot shot. Okay. Man, <laughs> yeah. High potential. High potential. Right? potential. Bangladesh <laughs> management training. Exactly. Ora CM high potential. So that for and then every Google is. On a slow pro- hmm. process, it's like very standardized. Hmm. Between levels, it's like two years to three years, hmm. and the more senior you go, you like keep adding a year. So do you watch your like per year, usually per level A uh, to level up? Minimum, do you watch your volley? Right. Uh, yeah, but you know, if, if you're really hardworking and you can show impact, hmm. you can make it like 18 months, hmm. things like that. But on average, over the whole year, do you watch your take a two year? Right. So let's say someone je uh, MT na or uh, APM na, APM right? Tara jodi Google chakri pay, tara usually kono level le jono apply kora mane common ba kora uchi then kiro kum roles uh, consider kora uchi. Hey, so uh, if you are not an APM, but if you so if you are fresh graduates, hmm. you have to be an APM. Got it. So they'll put you in the APM position, and that's actually very mane like the competitive process. Actually, mane ora X number of APMs nibe among Class, he should be doing training, cohort, and management training. Also. And all of the bare parts of the course, APM, usually. It is usually not. Oh, yeah. That's so, a. That's so let's a, say, say boet thi ke, I mean, the Bangladesh pore ashi. I mean, to APM mukha na hoyte, I mean, usually hoyna. So, yeah. I mean, can I take a step? Let me take a step back. Right. So, for not Google for hmm. tech hmm. recruiting, there are okay. two tracks. Actor, which engineering, actor, which non-engineering. Engineering is literally you have studied computer science or EE, electrical engineering. So the visa process. Bangladesh, um, America, joto engineer doorka tarche kam achhe. So you can actually sponsor foreigners for engineering jobs, but the US says, "Jena, our non-engineering graduates onne gasse. Tu mei kama deshe bula ke nagwa, tamur bideshe bula ke nagwa." So PM falls in the non-engineering because you're not coding, coding. So ajo no PM jobs uh, doesn't get visa like foreign recruitment. Jaman engineering, amra pothom aaj dekhi buer theke shor shori Google chakri pelo. That's because of the visa process. So the US allows you to recruit directly because oh, when a demand out outstrips the supply. Hmm. But for PM strategy ops, you cannot do that. Uchi. So you will not see you know Google, Facebook, Apple coming to buer hmm. or IBA for right. PM recruiting. Right. Right. So the path there is you have to get a foreign or US degree. Mm. I mean, there's a lots of Google at the onic office actually, right. UK, Australia, Australia, yeah, Australia mm. onic ate. So whichever country, mm. so because getting you a getting a academic degree mm. uh, then makes you eligible for the OPT right. and uh, the visa sponsorship. So that's usually, unfortunately, that's the more there's no direct path. Right. Unlikely. So less resistance hotse by direct masters ba kono degree niye tar pore uh, job ajon apply kora. Let's say in whatever tech role you want. Yeah. Um, but there's also the other one of let's say um, atami. Well, two other paths. One is PR niye cholega. That's a little different. What a different. Very yeah. different. And then how to ba job originally ekhane chilo and then I got relocated there. This is there. new. Right. Oh. Okay. So okay. So I am uh, what I'm seeing actually. Akhon, I am seeing a few hmm. roles open up where they are recruiting uh, in Dublin. Hmm. So, kichu uh, roles are PM roles now. There will be operations roles hmm. where they do recruit from Dublin, uh, hmm. recruit directly for hmm. non-US roles. And a lot of these are Bangladesh specific roles, like right. Bangladesh trust and safety, Bangladesh marketing. Right. So, Asia role gula other local experts darkar, but it's, hmm. it is an international job. So, I have like seen. At least Singapore, quite the nagay YouTube uh, partner manager hired for love mm. to help the Bangladeshi content creators mm. uh, grow. Then I was like, "Hey, I'm a Bangladeshi action key nibo. It's like a direct recruitment to Singapore." Mm. So, e thora ne kicho opportunities ekhon ami assess the dekchi. And um, again, the candidates who do well are you know have great resumes and an international standard resume. Mm. So. Bangladeshi standard will be clear. Have na. Could you unpack that? Like, what are some of the things or check boxes that one would need to take to make it? 
uh, in front of let's say even get yeah. considered yeah 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 so i mean at least this is based on my learning for the youtube yeah. role i was so excited yeah. to see that and i i think i referred like 10 people and yeah. i literally worked with them say keo na kada ta paitei hobe tomader boshe boshe resume chik korchi and and then i also reached out to the recruiter saying that how many people at the group this is give me some feedback kunta bhalo chilo kunta bhalo chilo na so actor hoche the first pass is the resume so it has to be international quality like global standards professional experience bullet mm. points the oj uh, star or the basar framework situation action Task, right uh, yeah so you, it has to be that yeah. which amader deshe manush jen used to na oi coaching korte dui soptah lage resume coaching korte one page ante one page egula korte korte dui soptah role close hoye geche right so chobi dibo na ma babar naam dibo na sob kichu so ekhon ashole egula khubi you just google it you can right. get it so what about your first pass so i passed on some resumes which were not which were non standard mm. and they're like oh please ask okay resume thik korte baba mm. i was like okay eta dosha ho chik na mane resume to ready thakte hobe right so that was one so once i at least i got in the resumes the second one was at least 2 to 3 years of solid professional experience okay so a role the auditor strategy and generalist roles mm. so they're looking for can you manage a project what mm. are your communication skills are you presenting decks can you do stakeholder management so um eight hundred skill gula demonstrate kora so making sure whatever you are doing now mm. you are gaining these type of experiences right so let's say apu ami je kono ekta small company te startup e kaaj korchi and let's say ami lekhechi je amar erokom experience ache right ami present korechi omuker kache etc etc ei kaaj gulo korechi how do they evaluate this and mane do they let's say choto unknown name hoyle seta ke ki onno chokhe dekha hoy ba mane what is it जज कर এবং ইউ অলসো হ্যাভ টু প্রিপেয়ার ফর দ্যাট নেক্সট স্টেপ লাইক হোয়াট আর ইওর স্টোরিজ এন্ড রেজিউমের সাথে তুমি কিভাবে কথাটা বলছ আর কি রাইট সো আমি যা যা বুলেট পয়েন্ট দিয়েছি সেগুলো নিয়ে যদি জিজ্ঞেস করে অ্যাকচুয়ালি ওটা নিয়ে প্রপারলি কথা বলতে পারাটাও হচ্ছে নেক্সট স্টেপ সো প্রথম হচ্ছে সাজগোজ করে রেজিউমেটাকে ঠিকভাবে দিতে হবে নেক্সট হচ্ছে যা বলছি সত্য বলেছি এটা প্রুফ করা মানে ইন্টারভিউ ইন দ্য ইন্টারভিউতে এন্ড দেন আই গেস আর দ্য কেস স্টাডিজ ইন দিস কাইন্ড অফ ইন্টারভিউস আদার দ্যান জাস্ট অ্যানেকডোটাল স্পিকিং is there like actual yeah that's a good question um before i answer that i yeah. would say the third thing resume mm. in behavioral interview the third is linkedin got it make sure your linkedin is top notch i think that's another thing i had to coach people linkedin khali also but just take a position bat xyz account manager 2019 theke bari 20 kono description nai kichu nai updates nai so really beef up your linkedin more Achha. resume the act page or shop moner kotha abo asha shop kichu you put in your linkedin right like all the media you do volunteering so really pay good mm. that's the first the resume dekhbe mm. but uh, linkedin is just as important Got so it. that's uh, okay. three things again global standard mm. linkedin like good profile picture not cropped okay right. uh, so make sure all of that looks mm. good so your question was uh, case study thake case study interview the so product management te definitely case studies ache okay. uh, product design questions product execution questions right ogula best standard f- framework and formats follow kore hmm. but product adjacent roles like product strategy or even just like general strategy ops uh, partnership management hmm. these are um, all behavioral these are all কিন্তু মানে হাইপোথেটিক্যাল বিহেভিয়ারাল হতে পারে যে হে ইউ আর অ্যাস টু লঞ্চ এ কন্টেন্ট পার্টনারশিপ প্ল্যাটফর্ম ক্রিয়েট এ কনসোর্সিয়াম কন্টেন্ট ক্রিয়েটার ইন এ নিউ মার্কেট অ্যান্ড দেন ইউজিং দ্যাট উই আর গোয়িং টু ট্রেন দ্যাম সো দিস ইজ আ হাইপোথেটিক্যাল বিহেভিয়ারাল কোয়েশ্চেন যে হাউ ইউ গো অবাউট দ্যাট টু সি ইউর থিঙ্কিং রাইট Yeah. That, that sounds almost like a consultant that they come in interview hoy na where they give you a case and you have 5 minutes to work it out and then you come, come back with the entire strategy stuff like that makes sense uh, when you're working in more strategy and ops mm-hmm. rules uh, makes a lot of sense i'm guessing technical interviews are you know uh, mostly coding challenges and maybe one or two communication challenges different ball game na so for product uh, this goes into product management so mm. product management is a technical recruiting uh, stream okay at least in google and big tech 
So right. different companies treat the technical piece differently. What you have to understand is that product managers are not being hired to do coding. Right. So right, you don't have to be amazing coder. You have to demonstrate proficiency. Hmm. But you are being hired for product design, product hmm. strategy. वो कहने आवश्य excuse me excellence hmm. demonstrate करता है. Uh, so Google a technical proficiency journal. There is an engineer that mm. does the technical interview, right. but they're more like system design questions. Uh, it's not like oh so, solve this like coding challenge or like write pseudo code. Right. Or come na mostly like you have to design an app and design a parking app, right? Which and then how like what, what your thought process is when you're doing that? Igula din is judge kore. But more more on the back end. Like ah, what are the what are the API calls? Like right. what are the databases? Like how are you? So it is. Uh, it's called like system design, engineering system sure. design question. Facebook is meta the but it's a ek domi nai zero technical, just product design, product strategy. Tarpor um, Amazon. Amazon, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, Stripe has a very uh, difficult technical interview. Hmm. So it's a spectrum of where, but it also reflects the company's needs. Like right. so, Stripe is a payments processing and it's a very technical product. So they have a higher bar. Facebook. Yeah, I guess Facebook because it's a big company, mm. and you, it's fine if the product manager is not that technical because mm. they have great engineers to fill in that gap. So you know, every company kind of takes their its own, own approach. approach. Yeah. Got it, got it. So it sounds like um, anyone who wants to work in big tech or something like this, they they should spend two or three solid years gaining some experience. Uh, doing this work, whether it's strategy, mm-hmm. ops, or product management, technical knowledge, which is mm-hmm. strong, needs to understand engineering know-how. Then it's all about like polishing your candidacy. So whether it's resume, LinkedIn, all of those things, and then it's kind of proving that job will see, shot will see, and behavioral uh, interview, and actually we put a little corner. Okay, that, that's a very good roadmap for anyone trying to do this. Uh, uh, th- th- thank you so much for taking all this time. I think we, we can begin to wrap up. Uh, the final question I do want to ask you is not technical or product management or uh, all the amazing things you've done, but more philosophical. Um, yeah. uh, what are some of your favorite quotes? Like, what, what do you, you know, think of or you know, what do you live by? What are some maxims that really speak to you? I think the one that really speaks to me আমার আব্বা আমাকে ছোটবেলায় বলছে তখন আমার খুব মেজাজ খারাপ হয়েছিল সো আই ডোন্ট নো হোয়াট ইট ওয়াজ আমার সাত আট বছর আমি এটা পারবো না দ্যাস মি টু ডু সামথিং লাইক সামথিং ডিফিকাল্ট লাইক এটা করো আমি এটা পারবো না অ্যান্ড আব্বা ইজ লাইক এট মি ভেরি সিরিয়াস ইজ লাইক কখনো এটা বলবো না তুমি সব পারবা আই লাইক ও দ্যাটস আব্বা আমি কি চাইলে মাউন্ট এভারেস্ট উঠে যাবো হ্যাঁ Damn it, he's right. And I think that just never say I cannot. If you stop yourself from saying that, it cre- it definitely at least for me created an entire mindset where I feel and I believe I can do anything. Like you were saying Jack that you never make you have a chinta korbe she astronaut hobe. Kintu oi muhurte ta amar mone hoyse ha ami chale to Mount Everest should be very. You do training, go to the mountain, go to the Nepal, go to the. But there is a path. Like people have done it, I can do it. So, but the first step is to say, "I am powerful." That's why I'm a big boy. But the astronaut, who did he do? He did it. American admission, he did it. Aeronautics engineering, he did it. So, this is what I do. I'm an astronaut. I'm powerful. But just that phrase from my dad, like, "Never say I cannot." It's a bit extreme, but it's also like forced me to reframe, like. what is the meaning of possibility like if you if you stop saying i can't you can actually chart a path and start on it and if you have a grand vision you'll you'll end up somewhere great so i think that even now like oh i don't have parbona like see you have the parbona the khana ma abbar voice is like never say parbona kokhono eta bolba na and then it opens up the possibility there is no better note to end it on thank you so much for your time apu um I'm sure this will be watched many many times and a lot thank of people Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this. A lot of people seek inspiration from you. Um thank you so much for sharing all all of all the stories. Thank you. Thank you. you.